Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. In my last video, I asked in my comment section if you guys would be interested in a Rainbow High top five. And, um, yeah, that comment almost got 100 likes, so that means you guys are interested. So today, we are going to be counting down my top five least favorite Rainbow High dolls. I'm leaving Shadow High out, but including Pacific Coast, because Pacific Coast is um, Rainbow High's sister school, whereas... You know, Shadow High is its own thing, even though it's a part of the Rainbow High universe. I'm going to leave it out because Shadow High is a separate doll line, whereas Pacific Coast is not. So, yeah. Does that make sense to y'all? I hope it does. So, um, let us begin with number five. Starting us off in fifth place, we have Cheer Skylar. I just don't like this doll. Um, she's the only Cheer Rainbow High doll that I don't own. Although you're going to see another one on this list, and I just don't like this doll. I've had her before. Um, I got her, like, at the- I got her at, like, a flea market for, like, a dollar, and I didn't care enough about her to even fix her hair, so I just sold her. I didn't like her. <laughs> um, her shoes are okay. Her outfit is really boring to me. The bow in her hair. Maybe I don't like this doll because her- colors remind me of the old Christian school that I had to go to when I was a child. That was- I'm oversharing again. <laughs> but, um, seriously, I went to a school, and our colors at that school were these. The dark blue, the lighter blue, and white. Like, maybe that's the reason I hate this doll. Maybe that's it. But I just don't like this Skylar. So she gets fifth place, because I just- it's... I'm gonna group this doll in as well, because they're both pretty mediocre. So fifth place is actually Cheer Skylar as well as Cheer Violet. I liked Cheer Violet when I first got her. I was like, oh, she's cute, I like her. But as time goes on, I realize just how tacky her outfit looks. Her coat is dumb too. I, I just don't like her. Also, Violet looks weird without bangs, so... Yeah. I'm putting her here because fifth place is a tie. Sorry, I forgot to put Violet in at the beginning of the clip. In fourth place, we have Lyric Lucas from the Rainbow High Rock Stars from Rainbow Dream. Is that what it's called? I don't know. Look, this doll in person is probably worse than her stock images. Like, this outfit's okay, and it hides the main thing that's wrong with her. And the this is going to sound so petty, but the main reason I don't like this doll is one, because she uses the original face mold, and two, because of that goddamn orange streak in her hair. Look, this doll could have been gorgeous if they just stuck to the darker color scheme, but instead they said, no, what if we complement it with wonderful colors such as orange? It, I know the theme is that she's supposed to be rainbow, but this doll would have really benefited from just having fully dark hair. I don't understand why they had to add in all these extra colors. The pink kind of works. The blue almost works, but I feel like it should have been a darker shade. And the same applies to that goddamn orange streak at the front of her hairline. It should have just not been orange. I really feel like that's what drags the doll down, in my opinion. Because you gotta remember, this is my opinion. If you like Lyric Lucas, fucking good for you. I'm glad. But... <laughs> It's like, I like the rainbow stitching on her clothing. Like, on her shirt, on her skirt, on her pants. It looks fine. Look at her wearing her own tour shirt. That's not... That's something people do, I'm sure. This doll is almost pretty. It's just that they fumbled the bag with her color scheme. I just... I fully believe that a doll with solid black, maybe purple hair, like black and purple, like that mixture maybe, like Ainsley's hair. A doll with that color scheme partnered with like the rainbow embroidery, the rainbow stitching, stitch work. I don't, what's, I don't know what the word is. Look, I'm just saying this doll didn't need the extra colors in her hair and that's why I'm putting her low. I also just don't like her lip color. I feel like it should have been darker. She would have benefited from a darker lip color. That's another thing with Rainbow High. These They're just not experimental enough with the makeup and 
yeah, I'm getting off topic. She's she's fourth place though. In third place is River Kendall. Yay! It's everyone's least favorite Rainbow High character. Yay! He's on the list, guys. I couldn't leave him off. He's just too atrocious. Like, for one, the hat is bad, and then when you take it off, his hairstyle is worse. Um, I didn't even save a picture of his second outfit because you already know it sucks. This man comes with three different jackets. Three. His jeans are rolled up and they've got rips at the knees. Like, yay, I guess. I don't fucking know. And then he's got ugly shoes. Very ugly shoes. And it's just, I, I can't get over the three jackets. Like, this dude must be freezing or something. Because why does he have that many? Like, you got the Letterman on top of a hoodie. Which is long sleeve, by the way. I used to own this doll. I got rid of him. Thank you to the person who bought him from me. <laughs> And then he's got another jacket tied around his waist, as if that wasn't- as if the other two weren't enough. And then he has the ugliest face known to man. Rainbow High did not have a good face mold for boys until Ash came out. Like, Ash, you will not be seeing on this list because one, he's Shadow High, and two, they actually did a good job with him. If I liked boy dolls, then sure, I might buy him, but I'm never gonna buy Ash, because I don't really care. I don't like boys. So, you know, I don't need to collect boy dolls. I don't want them in my collection. Except for Monster High boys, because I like their personalities most of the time. Did you guys see the new Rainbow High episode where, like, the entire time they're just calling Ash a whore, pretty much? <laughs> they're like, oh yeah, everybody flirts with him, but nobody wants to claim him. It was so fucking weird. Oh, I'm supposed to be talking about River. Yeah, he's just ugly. Like, he's just really... His eyes look soulless. I, Like, why is he looking at me like that, you know? But also, his body's weird. Like, it's so muscular, but, like, his arms are so scrawny. It, it reminds me of the Bratz boys. It's just, like, weird proportions. So, yeah. Th third place. Next up, my pick for fourth place is Clown Amaya, aka Series 2 Amaya Rain. I don't know why they made this doll, because they had her design right the first time, honestly. Um, I don't like the hair. That's the main thing that I dislike about this doll. It's like, her outfit's okay. It's like, nothing's bad about it inherently. I need to lift my camera because my leg is falling asleep. Always happens when I'm recording. But, um, I don't know. They were also really obsessed with trying to make socks and heels happen at this time. Like, they kept- every doll in this series wore socks and heels. I think Crystal is the only one who didn't. I'm 90% sure Crystal's the only doll in series two who didn't have any form of socks and heels on. Because even Bella did. Even Bella did. She couldn't escape it either. But, like, with her it was different because they were, like, high socks. These are, like, ankle crew socks. Is that the- is that the name of them? I don't know. I'll stop talking about her feet now. So, um, yeah, blue hair is not good. Amaya's theme is that she's supposed to be rainbow. She's the whole rainbow because she's the main character. And everyone wants to chuck her in the garbage can because her character is non-existent. So, um, uh, I don't know why they gave her blue hair. I don't think it looks very good. But her makeup was nice. I believe it was done by, um a doll customizer named Color on Instagram. I, it's like Color with a U instead of an O. You know, like C-U-L-U-R. I think that was their username. Um, I don't know. But they hired that artist to do Amaya's makeup and it came out nice. If there's one thing that they did right on this doll, it's her makeup. I like her face. But everything else just doesn't work for me. Her second outfit is her cheer outfit, which, it, while it's cute, feels like a wasted opportunity. Because her first outfit's not very good. I don't know. But it's not bad either, I guess. It's just kind of boring. And, ugh, again, with the hair. Her theme is supposed to be rainbow, so I feel like they should have tried rooting more colors into the top instead of just making it primarily blue and then having all these colors in the under parts of it. It just ends up looking kind of boring, you know? But I guess they didn't want to overcrowd her, so I kind of get where they were coming from. I don't know. I just feel like 
if they were going to make one color the main color of her hair, why not make it match with her outfit a little more by making the main hair color black and then adding all the rainbow colors? Like, they could have done Lyric Lucas, but good. I don't know. Point is, uh, she's second place because I don't like her. And now we're on to our honorable mentions. So uh, this is what I like to do before we get to number one. We talk about some dolls that are also bad but didn't make the list. And by bad, of course, I mean in my very subjective opinion. So uh, with that, let's uh, get into it. Our first honorable mention is Finn because holy shit, his face is awful. I didn't even need to show you the rest of the doll because I like the rest of his design. I left him off the list because if he had Ash's face mold, this doll would be great. A pink boy with curly hair and a stupid fanny pack? Sign me the fuck up. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't really care much for Finn's personality, or lack thereof, but like his doll has a nice design inherently, I like it. It's just that they kind of flopped in every other aspect, and by that I mean his face, because he is telling me the day that I'm supposed to die. Next up is Winter Break Ruby, and I'm just never, I'm just never been a big fan of Ruby's style, though I will be the first to admit that Ruby has one of the best, um, no, she has the best cheerleading doll. Ruby's cheer doll is amazing, but this one just feels kind of boring to me. Like, like, look at this outfit here. This is her second outfit, and try telling me that it doesn't just look boring. Like, this is okay, but this is just fucking boring, you know? And I feel like that's the worst thing that a doll can be. Boring. Our next dishonorable mention is Maria, and I will admit I was considering putting her at number one, but, you know, for the quality, I don't feel like I can, because she is, unfortunately, a well-made doll in terms of, like, embroidery and accessories and stuff. Like, her purse is really pretty, her skeleton hand jewelry things are cool. Her earrings look nice. It's just... This doll's more of like a personal dislike for me. Because for one, I'm pretty sure everyone knows by now how they butchered Mexican culture on this doll. I don't need to preach to the choir when everyone already knows that. But I just don't like this doll. One of my main gripes with her is not only the purple hair because it's it clashes so badly with everything else but like her skeleton makeup as a whole like you're not supposed to leave giant gaps around your eyes the way they did with this doll if they wanted us to still be able to see her eye makeup and her eyebrows her fucking eyebrows they could have just made it a removable mask like it could have just been like a removable face mask if they really wanted us to be able to see that but instead, they leave these huge, gaping holes around her eyes in the makeup just so we can see how on fleek her eyebrows are. Oh! And it's just awful. Like, if you look at any other Day of the Dead doll, such as um, pretty much any of the Barbie ones, you don't see the doll's eyebrows because it's covered by the makeup. And I know this is such a weird thing to complain about, but I don't like it. It breaks my immersion. I'm supposed to think you're a skeleton. <laughs> I'm joking, but still, I just don't like the giant holes around her eyes. It especially doesn't work because Rainbow High Dolls have such big heads. Like, try looking at her face and tell me it doesn't look weird from this far away, because it, it looks weird, doesn't it? Am I crazy? I don't know. Our next two dishonorable mentions are Margot de Perla, just because I still don't really like her. I'm sorry, I know there's a lot more Margot fans out there nowadays, but the more I look at her, just, I don't enjoy her uh, she, like I just, you know I still don't like her face mold I still think introducing this face mold is the worst thing that Rainbow High has ever done because they just won't stop using it <laughs> like I like the different eye molds that they started to introduce in series 3 but when Pacific Coast rolled around they made this head mold for Margot with like a thinner face and they just will not stop using it. Like they gave it to Tessa from the from from the from the Royal Three, and she would have looked so much better with just the standard head mold. But they gave her the Margot one, 
And it looks bad. It looks awful. I hate this face mold. <laughs> I hate this head mold. I'm sorry. I j I'm sorry, I do. And then there's Roxy Bland. I, I don't think I need to say much about her. She's just really boring. But once again, similar to Maria, she's very well made. So I don't... And I also actually like this one's face. I think Roxy is inherently a pretty doll. It's just the fact that she comes with nothing. But they stamped the holiday collector label on her and gave her a fancy looking box with nothing in it. And have the audacity to be charging $80 for her. So, you know, she deserves a dishonorable mention. She sucks. And with that, let us move on to my number one least favorite Rainbow High doll. Let's start with a countdown. Five, four, three, two, and number one is Avery. Yay. And look, I wanted to like Avery so badly, but the wig feature really, really drags her down. They gave her a pixie cut molded on underneath, which was a cute idea in theory. But it makes it so hard to make the wigs lay down flat on her head. The pieces she came with were really unpersonalized as well. It was clearly meant like for you to buy this set so you could mix and match the pieces with other dolls. Meanwhile, with Ainsley's fashion closet that was released later on down the line for Shadow High, every piece was something tailored to Ainsley, something that Ainsley could wear. But with Avery, it doesn't feel like that was what they did. It feels like they designed the pieces for other dolls. And I feel like that's the biggest flaw with this set. When it comes to the doll as well, it's just the wig thing. Avery absolutely deserved a doll with rooted hair because the wig looks bad. It's also loaded up with tinsel, so even better. So yeah. Even after all these awful releases, Avery is still my least favorite Rainbow High doll of all time. So she holds the number one spot, and it's pretty obvious why. Look at this, I didn't even bother to download a high quality image. This one's all fuzzy. So yeah, Avery is my number one least favorite, and that's all there is to it. I, I don't have much else to say. So obviously there's a lot of Rainbow High dolls that I don't feel that strongly about, but these are the main ones that when I really think about it, I have the most to say in terms of why I dislike them. Like, I easily could have included Series 1, Ruby, and Skylar, but eh, what can I say about them already that I haven't? Like, what can I, what new can I say about them that I haven't already said, I mean? So these are some that I don't talk about that often, and that's why I dislike them. Feel free to tell me which dolls you don't like in the comments. I'm sure a lot of you are going to say Jade's, which is just fine. I don't really give a shit, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you'd like me to make a top five best Rainbow High dolls video, feel free to let me know in the comments. And that's about it. Bye.